we have a mixture of art styles and uh, artists at different levels of art. You know, there's some that are emerging artists, some that are mid-career artists. And uh, the most exciting um, part of that is the fact that so many of these artists started out with me. Mm -hmm. So I've been able to uh, capture the progression of the art, like uh, Anita Bates and Jocelyn Rainey did her very first show with me, and uh, Hero Neal, and, and so I guess that's why I'm so excited about it, because we've covered so much territory in all these years, yeah. and now yeah. we're all coming back together, and that really excites me. Yeah. to know that we've come so far in the art community and that I've been fortunate fortunate enough to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. And that's what keeps it going. It all started with a conversation uh, with Jeff and I one day. We were talking about the fact that uh, we showed the same artist for many years. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, my son uh, did his very first exhibit at the artist market. Mm -hmm. And uh, we shared so much while we were in Harmony Park, which then was considered the art district. I, re the art I, districts. I remember that from when I was a kid here in Detroit. Really? I do. And, uh, and, and then we both ended up in the art district, mm -hmm. you know, with the museum and the DSO and whatever. And uh, I said, well, you know what? That carries a lot of weight. I said, that's uh, historically very valuable. He said, yeah, it sure is. He said, maybe we need to talk about that and, and maybe you share this uh, with the artist market and maybe even do a show, bringing all of these artists back that I've showed all these years. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so here we are. <laughs> <laughs> As you mentioned, you've been part of the art scene here uh, for a really long time. I wonder what you make of the current art scene in Detroit. Uh, I would say that it's been terrific. Uh, because what's happening is there's more diversity. Mm -hmm. uh, I can see how some of the artists are becoming very conscious and conscious for good reasons mm -hmm. because of what's going on in the world yeah. and all the changes that are coming about, you know, including the pandemic. And I can see how this has impacted on a lot of their work a lot of their lifestyles. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that I find different from the past is more artists are being creative about their art studios. You know, they're working, you know, you have the uh, breakfast club where artists go to a restaurant. Mm -hmm. So they're finding more alternative ways. And of course, the more the better, you know, because not all artists are not all galleries have the same format. Yeah. So I think it's really wonderful that the artists are uh, creating their own environment for making their art as well as selling their art. Mm -hmm. And whatever they can do to push art, we can't do too much of. Yeah. yeah. Because art is so, so important in our lives. So important. And I think that I have to give art, art is what's taken me where I am now, mm -hmm. you know, because I think that with technology being what it is, we really need to really make art a very important part of our lives. Yeah. Yeah. You know, art is what defines us as a people. And art is in all of our lives. It's not just visual art. You know, there's the performing art, which I've been a part of for the last six years. I've been combining the art gallery with the international jazz mm -hmm. that comes about every, uh, I've done that for six years now. 
And I think it's important to combine all the components of the art forms. Yeah. It's very important because it impacts on all our lives. The children, the adults, the old folks. <laughs> And that's and and I guess this is what keeps me going and keeps me so excited. Thank you for being with us on American Black Journal. And I want to thank you because I feel like it's something that I need to shout on the rooftops. <laughs> right. Art, keep art in your life.